All right, so Power Trades just created a block right here. All right, so let's see where that block is. We can look at that block. It's right here. It's the last block. So total volume, 2,039. Delta is 83.13, negative 83.13, and basis ratio is 8.89. So now, once you get this order block, all we want to do is wait for a possible trades for a bounce back to that level. So what we're gonna do, basically we just draw this in, fill this in so we could see what we got going on, and then we're gonna extend it. All right, so, like I was saying, we're gonna put this, we're gonna extend this so that we can see when it goes over to that way in the future. So we'll extend the right ray. So now basically, and I can also do another thing too. Sorry. I can also put an order in here already. I don't have to wait. Now, I'm gonna get rid of this line here. That was a trend line, a gravity line. I'll teach you guys about that stuff too. But anyway, basically what I'm looking at here is trying to get this block trade. So as the market pushes back up to it, I'm gonna place an order here already. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is place my order here. So I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna be at one tick below, slightly below that level. All right. <clears throat> see did we put our stop loss on here we're gonna add a stop loss make that stop loss 12 and then enter set that as the default there so we don't have our stop loss on here right now <clears throat> let me move one to right there slightly above so I just moved the stop loss slightly above the level put a stop loss right there I'm not gonna put a take profit but what I just did was also I um, set this as a anytime I'm gonna make an order uh, place an order it'll give it'll um, give me five um, or uh, five contracts and automatic stop loss will be placed at um, 12 ticks you can play put that whatever you want and then you could also make a take profit but I didn't do that so what we'll see here is basically um, anytime I put an order in so I could just come down here and put another order in so and I trade with the at this time I'm not using the Dom okay so I'm using the mouse function because it's I just have to click it and then you can see what it says so if I left click it it'll be a buy limit right now if I left click it above price it'll be a buy stop if I right click it down here it'll be a sell stop if I right click it up here it'll be a sell limit because it's based on where price is where you place your order above or below price at this point I'm not going to take the trade app I'm not going to put an order there so I closed that out so we're waiting to see if price is gonna pull back to that level. And then also we like to see if there's any divergences as we come down to a support and resistance level or anything. This is the low, the session low. Um, also you got a couple other things here. So here, the, these two lines here are is the opening range. This line is the session high, session low, but also um, the session high is attached to the IB which is your um, initial balance so the initial balance high is here the initial balance low is here at this blue line so you could see sometime the initial balance will be used as support so you broke 
came back uh, well it's resistance in this point but it'll be used as a support and resistance level so price is uh, coming off that low let's see what we get let's see if we get triggered if we get caught up in a trade and be able to get this profit so it's pushing to that level Push, pushing pretty hard too Now I'm just above the order block level. I could be above the um, the whole candle level. Um, pretty good volume at that point. You can see, so each, when we're using these power trades, um, we can have a session on this, but it's gonna vary what you use. So what you need to do is find this yourself. I already set up some of mine because I know what, what uh, the value volume is so I don't want to see a ton of these things all over my chart because I'm not going to know which ones to respect all right so I want to see the the excess volume where I'm not seeing a ton of these like I may see one or two of these a day and those are going to be the good ones um, if you're seeing too many it's too it's not right it's too much so you're gonna to have to see based off of the time frame you're trading what the total value is going to be I mean volume is going to be because um, if I trade a daily time frame, it's much different and it's going to look different. And it's it's actually not I don't like it on the daily time frame, really. But a lower time frame, like five minute, 10 minute, you know, so forth, because you have these candles makes a nice little block like this. OK. And therefore, you can use these as zones. So let's see what price does. Is it going to get to that level? So each time frame is going to be different, but your power trades will be set up differently. So on the five minute, it'll be a different volume. Uh, and also, so let me bring this up real quick. Here's your power trade setting. As you can see, I have it on the two minute time frame for the S&P 500, e either the mini or the micro, it doesn't matter, on the two minute time frame. My total volume is 2,000 one second. All right, so in two in one second, there's 2,000. Um, the volume is 2,000. Now I could set that to one. I mean, to three seconds. I could change this to 1,500. I could change this to 3,000, so forth, whatever. But I found this to be the best setting at this point. So you may want to play with it and see where you see the best settings come in. And it, sometimes it takes a while for these all to come in. It's based off of how far back you have your time set. So I'm one month back. It's gonna go one month of, uh, it's gonna go one month of looking for these blocks. So it's gonna start from a, uh, a month out on the two minute time frame and bring up all the blocks. Actually, I think it goes, yeah, on this, on the daily it'll go I have it set a little different so it takes forever so you can see it's bringing up everything from 12 because we're one month back so the market's slowing down a little bit we're just waiting to see if we get to this level so you could wait for price action when you get to this level I find that sometimes the market just comes up touches the level and then drops once in a while you'll get some price action entries in there but not often well I can't say not often but I, I just feel the best way is just you know what you're gonna lose already I know I'm losing 12 and that's what I can afford to lose and I can lose 12 more than once in a day so so the market's slowing down so we'll just be patient and I'll keep checking it
while we're at it, since the market's not doing much, we can go to a couple of these blocks and look at them. So this block is right here. You can't see it when it's because it's blue now. But that block, let's mark that block and then look what see what happened. So here's this block. And you can change the colors, I think, to make it so you could see it different. So I'm going to extend that right ray. So really, you could see the market came down a little, bounced in there, had a bounce here, had a bounce here, and then I, after that it broke above and then bounced on the top. These are some really good levels. It went through this level and made another block slightly below it, so you could see how well that is. And it kind of sat here too, but so that's a good level. So I'm going to take that off the chart. We'll go to the next one real quick. Here's the next one. So probably would have faked you out here, I think, because I could see what happened already. Dropped, made the block, dropped, came back to the block, dropped, broke the block, then broke back down then hit the block again and dropped for a good trade. Here was a good rejection trade right here. You should have been able to catch that one. Might have got faked out here or took a loss, but then you probably were too afraid to take it here because you probably don't trust it after you lost this. So you don't take any of these trades. You lose because you don't trust what you just saw because you saw something else happen. Then it comes over here. <clears throat> Doesn't hit it anymore. And I don't believe it hits it anymore. And then look where it is today. Comes right to that block almost. Let's see where's that. Let's see if we're right on that block. Because it just missed that block. We're right. We're right on that block. So it came right down to that level pretty much. Just missed it though. So that level was relevant. That's where a lot of trading volume is taking place all right so we don't need that one anymore let's delete it let's see where we are with price it's not pushing on our level yet let's go to this block okay these blocks this is a couple blocks here you could see one two three there's three blocks there four blocks there five blocks are there five blocks there so there's five blocks here and what time was this? So be aware of the time. At the end of the day, these blocks are going to show up and they're not going to be real relevant to, due to the fact that at the end of the day, a lot of traders are closing out their positions. You're going to see heavy volume. So therefore, it is not relevant sometime after like that 3.30, 4 o'clock volume. So we'll go right. Let's see what the market did. Did it honor this any other time? No, it didn't honor this. Because look at this big rejection here. That, that would have been, you would have got stopped out. It did honor it because it never closed below it. But then it bounced here, gave you a little trade. Then it broke below. So this time, you again, you probably didn't take it here. And it lines up with this block. It's in this area, so you don't take the trade here because it dropped too low, all right? Or if you put your order in, you're stopped out. This is a case if you didn't put your order in, would have been a good time to put it in, but then you might have got stopped out anyway because of, look at these wicks right here. You might have missed this trade, and then you might not have taken, you would have not taken anything here. And if you did, you would have got stopped out if you just placed your order. And then you were probably wanting to take in this one because you were worried about what happened in the past. Trade in psychology. All right, and there we are. We didn't reach that level again. So let's look at the next one. Next block. Let's go back because I can't see. So they're yellow. Let's go to the next block. 
So it's this block right here. This area. Let's extend it. Right ray. Boom. Kind of broke above, bounced, then went higher. Now what time was this? Yeah, this is near 4 o'clock. So I don't trust this volume. All right, yeah, it's no four o'clock. So you did get a bounce though. You did it. It did work, but that four o'clock volume is kind of crazy. And then look what it did the next day. Right on the level, right on the level. Then broke the level. Look how it's honoring this level though. It didn't there. It did. It did here. But you would have got stopped out if you played it the way I show you. Then it wasn't doing much here. It wasn't doing anything. Didn't really honor that level. So that level was no good after that. So we could delete that. We could see how these are really good. You don't need anything else on your chart. All right. Now this lap, this one is super big. So I don't know. I would react to this one because the zone is going to be so big. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. All right. So let's see what happened. One time. Now this is too big to trade. It's too big for me too big of a zone so I don't I can't tell what it's really honoring all right let's see if it did anything else different now look at here though it's still too big of a zone for me but look how it did honor that level man this is like great support and resistance if at, at least all right look how it did here here and then blew through so we're still waiting on a block not getting that entry yet so as I wait I'll discuss this let's move to the next let's, let's take this one off the table first let's move to the next block go to this block. What's the previous block? It was that one. I think we, we looked at that. We looked at that. There must be two in there. Here's the next block right here. See what the market did on this block. I'm going to extend it to the right. And I'm going to see what the market did. Didn't really honor it. Doesn't look like it honored it too well. Here it did back here. One time. Two. It's kind of hard to trade this because it's crossing back and forth. So you really don't know what to trust. Not really honoring it real strong. Here's a real good trade up there. level right there right on it again so you don't know how long to keep it on your chart and you don't know when to trust it sometime when it's small like that and it like really this is a good trade opportunity because it went down went down went down now here it broke through then it went back down went down bouncing on this level went down down and here you trade short you take a short here. Now, depending on where your stop loss is, you might have got stopped out and you probably don't get back in the trade. Look at the next one. There's two right here. 
these two zones right here. We'll go with the bottom one. Extend it to the right. Let's see what it did. It did what it does. Good trade. Missed the trade. Good trade, good trade, 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 trade. You don't know which ones to take sometime if you let it play out too long and then it looks like it's no good after a while. All right. Let's look at the next. The next one is that zone above it. Or below it, whichever. So that would have been another one. Let's go to the next one. There must have been two in there. So this zone here, let's mark this. Well, we got two here. We're going to mark both of these. Let's mark this one because they're right here. We could see them already. Let's extend it to the right. Extend that to the right, and then we'll mark this one. Looks like two are in, in this one. All right, so let's see what it did on this. Good trade here. Kind of went below, so probably wouldn't have trusted it. Went above and kept going. Then bounced, bounced. probably wouldn't have kept it on my chart anymore after this let's see what else though let's see if it did come back nope that's the end of that didn't come back so not real great on those couple opportunities but nothing major let's go to the next zone we already marked that one let's go to the next there was two in that two in that so now we're on, I can't even see the next zone. Let me go back and then see where it is. All right, it's very small. <laughs> I could barely see it. Very small. Look how small that is, but how much was traded there? Same 2000 volume. Let's extend this. I'm sure this is gonna be reject, like, broken through a few times. See how it honored that level? It never closed below that level and bounced on it. Look at that. That's like <laughs> crazy. The level so small. It's like maybe how many ticks is this level? 86 it's one tick and it honored it to the T pretty much one tick level that was honored to the T would have given you a great trade just waiting for that order block all right so I need to check on my trade I forget all about it we're about to get see if what's happening so we'll come back to that let's see what price is doing it's not coming back. Doesn't look like it's coming back soon. But the level is great. Alright, so the price is pushing towards our level now. So we're going to see what happens with this trade. It's already set up. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe we won't. 
let's see what happens price has slowed down quite a bit hasn't given me any move up towards that level in a while just sitting down here between 47.73 and 47.80 so what I'll do rather than watch you guys rather than let you guys watch this paint dry I'll bring back when the paint has dried fully all right and you can see the finished product so I'll bring it back when we get closer alright guys so it looks like price is pushing closer to this level so I think we're not too far away time wise so we're back at it let's see what's going on Pushing towards our level. Price is getting really close to our level. This is pretty much stress free trading. I'm doing other stuff while I wait on my trade to take place. So, pretty much stress free trading. Now, here we go, getting right to our, where I am. It's my order. Come on. <laughs> We're getting ready to get hit here. There we go. Triggered us. So we're in this. You can see the amount that I'm making right here. This is what I'm making. So that's what you'll see. <clears throat> so we're in this trade we just traded the level we didn't wait for any price action so currently we're negative 62.50 negative 62 dollars 50 cents not a big deal right now so for me one thing that I do notice is a lot of times if the zone is going to work it drops out of there pretty fast sometimes so let's see what goes. Let's see what gives. So no matter what happens here, we're going to see what happens. And we'll post this. Let you guys see what the real deal is. All right, now we're making 62.50. Now 125. So 125. 62.50. It's not dropping out of that zone fast. But I see I see more supply coming into the market. I'm looking right here to see that.
So you're seeing as it happens, we had set this order well before the market ever came back to this level. So if the trade's good, it's good. Now you can use price action, but price action may pull you farther away from the level. But then also it could it could also create you, it could help you to not lose a trade where I'll show you if it does happen to me, what I'm talking about. doing much off of this zone just sitting around two pit two ticks or so not much Sitting around a point, maybe. Come on, make up your mind. Give me profit or take me out. Don't play games with me. <laughs> you got to talk to the market. But we'll see what's going to happen. So we're at 562 right now, 500. So you could have got you a quick 500 right now if you take your profit. Me, I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit more profit than that. That's a small trade. But I mean, if, if depending on your account size, that's a decent trade to just take that 500 and be gone. <clears throat> this has 52 seconds. Let's see where it closes. So you could have got that 500 and ran. Okay. So just think about that. But just watch this trade. You're not going to be hitting home runs all the time now. Don't definitely don't think that. So we're back at that 500 profit, 562, Volume coming in, not good. Touches my level again, takes me back to 125. We 
and this is the aspect where most of the guys probably struggle. This right here. This is tough for anybody. Because you, do you take that 500? Or do you let it run a little bit? You can, If you hit 500s every time you trade, you're, man, just taking those profits and just losing like 200. You're, you're ahead of the game. Yeah, buyers kicking into the market now. We'll be patient with this level. It's almost noon time. It's not much, a little bit of volume taken out of the market. So it's not really moving much. See it get off of that level. Either go above or go below. Show me something, right? created a tweezer bottom here well not quite but almost a support level here small support minor support now we're hitting that level again see if we can get below that level this time all right so there we go a little bit lower made a new low so now we're at 750 812 Made a new low. 937. So here we are right here. 812 right now. We're at 937. At a thousand right now. Let's take that thousand profit. I believe we still got more left in this. Now take that profit. If this candle keeps pushing lower, I think I'm going to take this profit. I wanted to take it a little lower. I'm just going to flatten. But if price breaks this low, closes below that low we can move our stop loss here right because we're at a thousand now and then we'll take whatever this candle is so let's see what this candle does that will determine pretty much if we want to get out of the trade so you could have taken your thousand right here now this is where you would have taken your thousand I'm waiting to see where this candle closes if this candle closes a little deep um so we're at a, we're at 1187 i could put my stop loss here and then just see if this can run on me i might i won't get the thousand but i'll be over 500 so let's see what this candle does and then we'll give the market a chance to continue going lower because you could see 
we did come back and touch this high, but since then we haven't touched any highs. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna risk the thousand. So I'm probably gonna risk a little bit less, like I'll probably be about eight something. But this candle, I don't love this candle either with six seconds to go. Move my stop loss down below that candle. Right there. Actually, we're gonna flatten at 1,000. We flattened at 1,000. Could have kept my stop loss here. I just didn't like the indecision candle. <clears throat> and then now you see what the market does after I got out. Could have got pushed down farther. Um, here's a level here that I could have watched it um, because I think we could bounce on here also. There was more, there wasn't any real major issue. My issue was there was some divergence here. So I had this going to the downside, but we had increased, um, increased demand coming in. Now we could still push lower, but that demand may be looking at this level right here. So that was my issue, pushing at that level. So I, I think we're going to have an issue getting through there. But I'm not sure. So I just took the profit. That and this actually is my first trade of the of the new year. First trade of the new year. First trade of the day. First trade of the new year. But yeah, it looks good still. But this level, and I think this level pretty much I would make it into a zone and think that here's where we could probably see price giving us issues getting below. And you could see. If had I played it the way I just said I was with my stop here, it's trying to push there. It's giving us little indecision candles, but it's still pushing lower. So I still had a little, I still had more profit left in it, but I could see a little bit of divergence coming in here. See that? And when you see that divergence, you're looking at this level here. All right. So that could be where we are pushing to. And looks like this trade is good. And actually, guys, this thing is still pushing lower. If I, had I put my stop loss here and just left it there, I'd have been good to go. Yep, pushing even lower. So I just want to show you guys, I could have made a lot more money. There was some divergence pushing in here. Let's see what happens at this level now. Is it going to get past that level? If it gets past this level, it's probably pushing back down towards this area. So I would make this into a zone. And... At this level here, and we have it into a zone, and then I would um, look for it to get get a bounce right there to the upside. But again, that level I just showed you, that's where we're having an issue. Yep, that's where we're having an issue. And we had some increased demand coming in. And a little bit of divergence so that increased demand maybe this level holds we get a move up could still play this level again all right so throughout the day I, I wait for these order blocks and then I trade those levels still pushing good though and see the thing is when you're looking at where I place my stop loss I just would follow the highs down so once you feel comfortable with your, with your profit right here, I could have now moved my stop loss here, and then I could have probably moved it down to here where this candle closes, and then see what it does. Now, if this candle is an indecision candle, I'll put my stop loss here, probably get stopped out down in this area. Let's just see what it's doing. Let's just see. we got 21 seconds. Because I'm, I'm saying this level is pretty strong. Again, what is this level? It's a fractal level also, right? And now it's past noon, so it's about, about almost five after. So a little bit of volume taken out of the market. You could see the, the increased demand coming in. One, two, three. Then we got increased demand coming in, which is also divergence at this level. So let's see what happens here then. So now we think we would have definitely put our stop loss at this level, right? We would have moved it here. So let's just put a line there. Keep tabs of our stop loss. <clears throat> the 
hard part of trading is where we were up here, and we right in this area where I told you previously when I said this is the hard part. That's where it's hard, and I was able to let this one go, even though it was a big um, bull candle. See, this is where we would have got taken out. So we could have made it back down to here, but we took profit in here. And it looks like we may have gotten stopped out. Let's see. 47 seconds mate, and they're painting two indecision candles haven't closed below that zone yet. And we still have increased demand coming into the market. It's an area where I would be looking to buy this market. Let's see what's going to happen. If we can't close below that. Made a new low. But still looks like maybe an indecision, right? Maybe. So another indecision candle gets painted. Made a new low. Didn't quite make a new high though. So we would have still been setting our stop loss where it is. So let's see. We'll stay here to see what the market's going to do, if it's going to give us even more profit than we already made, if it would have given us more. It looks like it's trying to. All right, so I saw increased demand coming in. Now it looks like it's still that way. Still strong demand. But now, boom. <sighs> New low. Man, we could have really made a very good trade here. We got a decent trade, but we could have got a good, really good trade probably been around 2000 right here doesn't look like it wants to close below that zone though it's making wicks below that zone but not closing below it so I want to see what it's going to do is it going to close below it or is it going to go back up so we would have been able to move our stop loss down now to the top of this zone. So we'd have made a little bit more profit from here. So we'd have moved it down to here, right? 45 seconds. I got ready to post this for you guys. Oh, see, we got, we got stopped out right there. It didn't want to close below this level. Didn't reject that level. Didn't want to close below that zone that we just talked about. And then you have increased demand. This is a good buy trade now where you'll be looking to buy the market right here. Let's see where this stops. Buy that market right there. Because this is the divergence I see. This coming down, flattened out, divergence increased demand coming into the market and then we we would be in the long trade now all right so now we're in the, now we would be in a long trade but i'm not taking that trade i'm going to post a video for you so that's how you trade this stuff in the fractals like i'm telling you so everything that we talk about you could see this stuff really working you can see me taking trades ahead of time um so just trust the concept all right so hopefully this helps you guys out till next time have a great one god bless so long